Okay, Shima girls, this is going to be another seriously important topic to help us along our Shima hair growth journey. And the topic I would like to discuss today is how to get rid of product buildup. Well, the first step to getting rid of product buildup is to first stop using so much hair product in your hair in the first place. As well as so many different brands of hair products because there's a lot of ladies out there that use all kinds of different brands of shampoos, of moisturizers, of, of gels, of everything. Everything is a different brand because they just cannot make up their mind which brand they want to use on their hair, so they use them all. Thus, the product buildup occurs. Okay? And, well, the second step is clarifying. Now, that is what uh, some ladies do. They use clarifying shampoos to get rid of this product buildup. Okay? The purpose of the clarifying uh, method is to basically get rid of the dirt, the residue, and the buildup. You know, that cleans the hair. All right? Now, let me point out something very crucial. Most of these over-the-counter clarifying shampoos that we get from the beauty supply stores are very strong meaning that as they clean the buildup in your hair as they clean the buildup in your hair at the same time they are also stripping your hair and scalp of its natural oils okay and usually what these over-the-counter shampoos do is that they will also leave your hair dry you know after you wash out the shampoo your hair goes back to being dry you know it, it, it doesn't feel any better <laughs> basically therefore I kept all these facts all these issues that plagues us as women of color regarding our protection hair I kept these issues and facts in mind as I developed my own shampoo which I named the Shima hair repair shampoo as well as my own leave-in conditioner, which I named the Shima Hair Repair Leave-In Conditioner. Okay? Remember, ladies, our hair is very, very dry by nature. At least for 95% of us, our hair is very, very dry by nature. So the last thing we need is to put products in our hair that multiplies this hair dryness. Now, Mashima Hair Repair Shampoo and Mashima Hair Repair Leave-In Conditioner infuses moisture back into your hair while it removes the buildup and repairs your hair. Hence why I call it Shima Hair Repair Shampoo and Shima Hair Repair Leave-In Conditioner because it's going to repair your hair from the damages from the hair dyes, from the hair relaxers, from the harsh winters, if you happen to have a really cold climate in your area, it basically helps repair from, from right down to the hair shaft, okay? It renews your hair. Now, my shampoo and leave-in conditioner, they work for relaxed hair, for natural hair, and for biracial hair, okay? So, it's specifically created for afro textured hair. Okay, whether you relax it or whether it's natural or biracial. All right. Also, one super unique thing about my shampoo is that it doesn't set up as much as the regular shampoos do. Yet, it's so potent that your hair will be clean, it will be smooth, and it will already be detangled even before you begin to use the Shima Hair Repair Leave-In Conditioner, which is the detangler, by the way. <laughs> So it is an amazing product, all right? Shima Hair Repair Shampoo is an amazing product from start to finish. With your Shima Hair Repair Shampoo, there is no sticky feeling, there is no oily feeling, there is no hard feeling left in your hair at all, okay? Again, it is specifically created for afro texture hair. Now, I emphasize this fact that it's specifically created for afro texture hair because most of the products we see and unfortunately buy at the beauty supply stores are not created specifically for afro texture hair. Yes, there is a brown skin model looking at you from that bottle or box from the cover, but it does not necessarily mean that it was created specifically for afro texture hair. 
some of these manufacturers just throw a black face on the cover to get the, the black uh, public to buy the product and that's about it okay I understand the unique requirements of Afro protection hair because I am a black woman with Afro protection hair so I want you to really really understand that fact so ladies if you have damaged hair from a hair dye use the Shima hair repair shampoo to repair the damage left from the hair dye if you have over processed hair or mild to severe breakage from a relaxer use the Shima hair repair shampoo to repair the damage left from that relaxer if you have damaged hair because of the cold harsh winters where you live use the Shima hair repair shampoo to repair the damage left on those cold hard winters where you live okay and on that note on that note allow me to show you one of my real life Shima girls who did just that Now, this Shima girl, she shaved her head completely bald because she was completely fed up with the cold, harsh winters in England, okay, where, she's, where she lives. And the shampoos, the products that she was formerly using didn't do anything to remedy her situation. So, she went ahead and she ordered one of my Shima hair repair shampoos. She uses it every single Saturday morning, in her own words, and as you can see, it has helped her natural hair grow from ball to chin length, which is a tremendous accomplishment for her. Again, it is specifically created for the unique requirements of our afro protection hair. Now, as for my leave-in conditioner, let me tell you a little bit more about my leave-in conditioner. Again, I formulated my leave-in conditioner to remove all your tangles and make your hair easier to comb while it is still dripping wet and you can easily proceed to create your roller sets, to create your wraps, to air dry your hair, and any you know, other method that you use to dry your hair after you're done in the shower, okay? Again, Shima girls, please understand this. This is so important. Hair wash day is the day when we lose most of our hair. Hair wash day is the day where we as black women with afro textured hair, with very fragile afro textured hair, lose most of our hair, okay? Our hair is wet, which means it is a thousand percent more fragile. And chunks of our hair is being ripped out by us, by us, with our hair combs because we are not detangling correctly with our hair combs because we get frustrated in the shower with those tangles and chunks of our hair just ends up in the drain okay there's no need for that ever again now with that in mind we must learn how to avoid tangles in the first place number one gentle handling number two gentle combing which also applies to gentle styling practices because if you are combing, chances are you are proceeding to style your hair as well. Number three, moisturizing, which means Shima oiling, okay? That's what that means, Shima oiling. So if you have this in your, in your possession, proceed to moisturize your hair to Shima oil your hair, okay? Every day or every other day, okay? And finally, number four, protective styling. Now, these are the main techniques that you should be applying every single day. If you want to avoid these tangles in the first place, Shima girls. Now, this means that when it is time to wash your hair, 
meaning when it is time to use the Shima Hair Repair Shampoo and Leave-In Conditioner, Hair Wash Day will be a breeze. All right? So thank you for listening, Shima Girls. Again, I pray you're learning every day with me as much as you can, and your hair is growing longer, stronger, healthier, and more beautiful each day. All right? Take care and God bless.